Hey guys, uh, sorry about the, the wait, my, um, my dogs got outside, and I had to go chase them down, um, not really exactly something I wanted to be doing, first thing Sunday morning, but it is what it is, um, they found a couple of friendly dogs in the neighbourhood, and then I, uh, ended up taking them home as well, so, sorry about that, but, um, uh, here we are. I uh, don't really have too much plans, um, the base behind me is for my upcoming video. So let's not look at that just yet. Hey, there's a ruin down there. Didn't know that that was actually there. 20 minutes like could run. Um, no, I chased after him with my ute. <laughs> I wasn't going to run after the bastards. They're border collies. How am I doing? I can just summon the anomaly. Yeah, so... <clears throat> probably just going to check out the... Weekend mission... Today. And see what else we want to do. So you might turn my multiplayer on. Network. And just watch my computer lag. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's better. Let's see what other ships people are rocking these days. Hey. Wait. Ugh. Snow speeder. Exotic? Oh, that's the golden vector. Alright, man. Too easy. Thanks for being here. Hey, he's got a glowing living ship. Maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll do that today. Go through the living ship quest line for the first time. Yeah, I know it's Agent Bones. I do not like that one at all, but... Oh well, get into it. You're about to beginning a challenging multiplayer mission on your own. Other travelers may join if you want. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Always leave multiplayer off? Yeah, but for the weekend missions it can get kind of interesting. You see, <laughs> all sorts of people. Guard Red Skydiver 1. He looks pretty cool. Okay, what system are you bringing us to? Himaba system. Discovered by Double Dash Gaming. Again. I'm pretty sure they discovered the last weekend mission I went to. I must, like, sit there and just wait for the, um, weekend mission to start. Bone Rich Planet. Here we come.
Alright, so we're off to Sezak 42? Or Sezak? Let's go with Sezak 42. Ah, uh, so the stream doesn't continue playing when the uh, when I alt tab for a minute. Thought maybe because multiplayer was on, it would stay running. Treehouse base bone marsh. Okay, let's see what kind of base you made for us, mate. There's a guy over there. Tungaska, 1908. It's actually in the tree. And a refiner. was on top of the big tree. That's all it is. Oh, got something else down here as well. Ah, just the storage. Oh, we got bones right here, that's nice. There's bases right next to, the, to a couple of bones. Good for him. So I've had a couple of people tell me that the... Oh, <laughs> I can't do that because he's, he's stupid base, alright. Oh well. Yeah, I've had a couple of people tell me that the uh, Quicksilver gl uh, glitch is not working for them, so I'll be trying that out today as well. Where you can uh, reset the weekend mission. The first time I ever did it was actually with the Collecting Ancient Bones task, or mission. And I didn't have any dramas with it, but um, I'll just do it again and make sure. Haven't really been on on the weekends to check it. Region of Planet Hogsu Hills. Glowing mushrooms are pretty cool. Very cool. Oh, get him. Go on, chase him down, get him. It looks like he could just turn around and give you a good old tail whip and you go flying, but chase him down. Hey, one ancient bone down. That one. Can't go back to that one at the left because I can't. Oh, there's a grave here. Hello. G'day, mate. Drowned in the seas. It's unfortunate. Signal led us there in search of. Something. Pursued by... Something. Abyss. Pursued by the Abyss, but we couldn't escape. I wasn't done. I wanted so much more to see. So much more to do. 
Fallen Traveler's gra uh, grave is marked by a glyph, an epitaph of some ancient technology. I've only ever really come across two random grave sites like that before. That's pretty cool to see that. Oh yeah, jetpack's gonna be uh, real good in the superheated storm actually, so be nice to get around with. Oh, right here. Is that what it's... That's the one it's telling me to go to. I get some buried technology module here as well. Nice little find on the way through. Oh, we got a rare one. Intriguing partial skeleton, approximately 731 years old. That's the place to be. Is this a giant cave? Oh, okay, we can get through here. Alright, that's pretty neat. The last time I was doing this, um, this weekend mission where you have to collect the natural bones. Uh, one of the guys that you had to to drop the bones off to, someone would put a base next to him, and they'd um, just pretty pretty much edited the terrain by just adding heaps of shit everywhere. And um, if you didn't have your multiplayer turned on and just waited for a while, the um, you could get into the guy if you were quick but if you weren't quick enough then like the entire base would load well there's lots of bones here yeah the entire base would load and then if you weren't quick enough to actually hand him the stuff and get out um, you'd get trapped <laughs> so and then obviously if you're trapped you can't edit terrain because someone built the base in there and then um, you had to have to reload, and then the weekend, the Quicksilver missions need to be done in one hit, so it just turned into this big thing, and I think I ended up restarting once or twice. It's fairly annoying. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Ooh, look at that guy. Rare skeleton, approximately 1,648 years old. Good morning, Tangles, mate. How are you doing? You're up early as well, I see. That's us for here. 
What do we got? Oh, we already got enough. <laughs> How much was that one worth? Oh, uh, only a million. Where's Polo's contact? Over there. Now he's off planet. I thought I'd watch Bob stream, then catch yours while I ship hunt. Is this like the time where everyone is streaming No Man's Sky? I don't really know when to stream. I've just got a few days off, so I thought I'd do some streams and see how it goes. But um, my dogs got out this morning, so I had to go and chase them down and then they got out because some uh, neighborhood dogs were out and then, yeah, it turned into this whole big thing. Some pretty wacky tree. Looks like a whole bunch of lemons on spikes. Someone built a base here too. Welcome to the end of the line. Survival Bob just finished. Okay. So it's probably a good thing that I wasn't streaming until now. Shenanigans on a Sunday morning, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it turned out to be two different um, people's dogs as well. So there were two dogs running around, as well as my two dogs, so I got my dogs and then, um, yeah, I went and returned the other two dogs. One belonged to Beck, who lived down the road, and the other is just some dude, like, on the other side of town. Oh, he actually did build a base, what the <laughs> fuck? Let's check his base out. Livestock unit. <clears throat> you know, when you're far away, they kind of look like tall speakers. Automatic feeder, he's got some nutrient processors. Cool, cool. All the landing pads you could ever want. Short range teleporter, does that take us down? Yep, straight down here. Yeah, teleporter. <laughs> That's nice. Scaling them down like that. That's a good idea, actually. I like that. Kelsey shrooms. I could pick them up. Why should I? I shouldn't be able to pick them up. Ossified star. E. Look at it. <laughs> I 
Oh, uh, that's cool. Is this supposed to be like a museum, I'd imagine? A rattle spine. That looks cool. Check out his aquarium over here. Also very cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up to the anomaly now and just make sure that the um, the Quicksilver mission glitch is still working. Okay, let's see if this is going to work for us. Complete the mission and then accept the next daily mission. I'm going to start it. Hey, get your ship out of mine. What the hell is this? Yeah, you better do. Better run. Come on, let's go. Okay, there it is, and reload the auto save. Pretty sure that's all I had to do. Yeah. Still working for me, I had 2300 Quicksilver, so... Yeah. I've just had a couple comments on that video that, um... It's not working for some people, so... It's clearly still working for me, even in multiplayer. Um, it works outside of multiplayer, if you were wondering, but yeah. Still working just fine. Let's um, go see what the space station has to offer. What kind of system are we in? Three star GEC system. Okay, let's go check some haulers and stuff out. Um, if you were wanting to do the Quicksilver weekend mission reset, I wouldn't really advise doing it this weekend. The, um, the un unearthing Ancient Bones mission does take quite some time. Cool, that's a lot of people. It shuttles like poking through the floor. It's wild. Look at that. The explorer come in and just said, "No, nah, mate, that's my car car park. Get out of here." <laughs> what the hell's going on here? They're not even like lined up.
Okay, sorry, did you want to leave? You can leave if you want. It sounds like they're trying, but they can't. Oh, look at that big thing. Only B class. Is there a trade terminal over here? Heaps of junk. Oops, saw the glass. Oh well, that needed anyway. Okay. Bit nicer. Everything should be cleaned up a little bit. Oh, I gotta sell them still. Always forget about that. Sodium is over here. Carbon is there. Okay. Oh, look at that! Can read it all. Hello, friend. Do you have units or nanites to spend? Please enjoy pleasurable trade scent. Buy my stuff. I don't want it. Hey, um... Tangles, what kind of a ship are you chasing? Were you the one who was chasing the... Oh, that's a cool freighter, the Venator, and then the big ball ones. Um, yeah, were you chasing the... Like the Hot Rod Nose one? Hot Rod Heavy? Okay, Idrab system discovered by Pink Sheep One. There should be a couple of um, pretty desirable planets. Swamp planet. The Kang nuclear planet. There's a guy in the system as well. A blighted planet. Same as yours, but the different nose. Okay, I'll have a look and see um, if I can find one, I'll let you know. I think I'm just going to do some multi-tool hunting, try to find some S-class cabinets and stuff. Unless there's uh, anything specific that you guys wanted to watch. I could go back and uh, play some more permadeath. C class. There's a shuttle. I thought there was a fighter coming in as well. Yep. Little Rasa. E class, A class. They're good to us. Let's see what else comes in in the, uh, the first wave. An explorer. Oh, two explorers. Okay, there's no uh, S-class cabinet, so we'll just keep 
keep cruising, go to the next system. And there's another three star straight away. You like to watch the multi tool hunting? Well, that's good, because I think that's what I'll uh, be doing. <laughs> <clears throat> Inskivi Annam system discovered by Diana Judy Ta. That's oh, death, not up. That's so where are we going? What have you got for us, mate? B class, yellow and blue. That thing looks uh, rather horrifying, to be honest. Got a white and orange snow speeder heavy with triple thrusters. Actually looks kinda cool. I think white is my uh, favorite color for ships in in the game. Usually just looks really clean. Also, much more of a fan of the uh, the triple thrusters than the box thrusters that I have. Where's the three star system? Oh, there we go. Restart Viking system. You're a fan of the white and orange? Well, that... That fighter back there was kind of what you were looking for then. <laughs> that is one heck of a green planet. Super critical. Doesn't really look like a super critical kind of planet. Always associate like that with um, yellowish sort of color, not not green. Oh, what's going on with the stream there? Don't know what happened there. Uh, the stream just sort of got all jumbled up for a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Not a fan of the color, but that's a cool pistol. And if I found an S-Class cabinet at a minor settlement, that would probably come up. That's actually kind of cool. A theory of fire. It's even got a cool name. Yeah, if you are interested in that multi-tool, um, that's the portal address there. Bird, Sunrise, Tree, TP, Moth, uh, Anomaly, Spaceship, Eclipse, TP, uh, Boat, 
Galaxy and Sunrise. Do I play with any mods on? No. I, um. It's all just 100% the standard game. So let see what kind of planets are in this system first, as that's super critical. I think there was two moons. Oh, is, that's a moon, okay. A flourishing moon. Let's go there and see what's on, what's going on here. You have the last tool I made a video on. Um, was that my one? The one that I have currently? The white experimental? Idracul. Scalding rainstorms. Sparse sentinels and abundant flora and fauna. It's kind of a cool planet actually. Yeah, is it? Is it this one? Actually, if I can find a, um, a pretty big forest, this is actually the kind of planet that I've been looking for. But I just want like a really thick forest. Yeah, it's the one. That's cool, man. I like this, uh, this multi-tool as well. Oh shit! <laughs> There's one tiny hole to fall down. Look at some activated copper. Very cool. What like a really thick forest? I don't know if that gives you any hints as to what I'm planning, but green, rain, and forest. There are some simple mods that make the game experience hella more enjoyable. Uh, like what? Maybe over here. Hey cool, I just saw your base build video the other day for that base you see at the start. I'm farming all the stuff right now to build one as well. Well good luck to you mate. Um, you do need a lot of silver, uh, some silicate powder to turn into glass and yeah obviously just a lot of, a lot of pure ferrite as well. Yeah, it definitely does take some time. Um, if you were needing just ferrite dust, I recommend just going up to a space station and buying them from the traders though, that fly in. You can usually get a couple thousand per each of them. The ability to recharge your jetpack very fast, you'd basically be exploring with flying. Better generated planets since there are 500 billion. Yeah, but see, I like to make videos like um, showing places and doing things. So if I was using mods 
and other people weren't, then there's a chance that they would go to wherever I was and they wouldn't be able to do the things that I was doing and trying to show them. So that sort of patch of trees wasn't really thick enough what I'm after. Tame any creature and even add creatures. Better clouds, better space. I wouldn't really mind like the visual side of things, but anything that changes the, the game experience is probably not going to be something that I'm going to go for. Maybe that's going to be the spot over there. No. It's going to be like some really thick trees. Ooh. Like the look of that over on that hill. Close. Just needs more. Always just that little bit too uh, spread out. I'll just uh, move on to the next planet. I'm not really finding exactly what I want. Cool planet, but I think the uh, the superheated storms would kill it for me as well. That's oh, a moon as well, actually. So cool moon. What else we got here? A violent planet? Oh, not something I'm looking for. Where's the other moon at? I think there's two moons. Yeah, okay, so it should be on the other side. We got antimatter out of that tritium hypercluster. It's interesting. Oh, there's the moon there behind the rings. An abandoned moon. Okay, yeah. Nothing we want here, so. Next system. Hey, that was a three star. Three star Viking as well. Plenty of planets. Rec Appeal 17. Oh, those freighters look like they're pure black. 
That's kind of cool. A rainy planet. We uh, flying down there later and have a look around. What do you got for us today? Multi-tool cabinet. B-class pistol. No, thank you. Ooh, look at fan wing hauler. The crooked gooseneck, though. Oh, um, tangles. This is something that might be up your alley. It's a um, single thruster. I don't know. I'm just going to call it the hot rod nose, but it doesn't have the the heavy wings on the side. It's just got your um, the the horizon or vector wings, star scream. Not entirely sure. Let's get a couple of the things you wanted. It is in a uh, three star system as well, so you can find that in an S class. Go down to the rainy planet. See what's there. That was painful. What's up, JP? Nice to see you made it. After a, I eventually made it. <laughs> Doing a Nexus planetary survey mission. It doesn't sound like too much fun. Where's the land at? Okay, might be on the other side of the planet. Still don't see any land down there. I think that's land down there. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, a rainy planet I would have imagined having like a, a lot of trees to be honest. And well 
rain as well <laughs> would be a good start. <clears throat> Weather has lethal humidity outbreaks. Okay. Yeah, I've I had to do a couple of those. I did not enjoy them at all. Usually the um the animals get a bit hard to find for me anyway. Got a dinosaur. Pretty big boy too. Ooh, look at that moon. That's cool as hell. It's not a moon, that's a planet, but it's the same thing anyway. Yeah, uh, this planet isn't something I'm looking for, but it's a cool planet nonetheless. Rainy planet, no trees, no rain, but yeah, doesn't really make too much sense though. Mostly just that there's no rain. Viewers' plans—you had to go underwater because it was mostly rocky islands. Yeah, right. That would be annoying. There you go, it's another three star system. A Honda or eleven. Okay. What do we got? Corrosive planet. Is that a moon or a planet way off in the distance? A Heimel planet? That's ice, I'm pretty sure. We're a dead planet? A bleak planet. So no planets in this system worth exploring for me. Back to lurking. <laughs> uh, good luck JP, thanks for stopping by. Okay, what do we got in this system? A little white horn pistol. It's only B class, but cute little horns on it. One day I'll find a um, S class experimental with the big, big uh, crystal spikes on it. One day. Cool white and yellow hauler. Couple more ships coming in. Triple thrust the snow speeder. Big explorer as well. Oh, S class. Uh, I'm gonna lose a lot of money buying that, but I'm gonna buy it anyway.
scrap it and get the uh, S-Class mods out of it. We lose like three and a half million on it. Oh, we only got one mod out of it. That's terrible. That was terrible. Got another three star system there. Should be a couple of uh, nice planets here as well. The Taki Saw system. An ice planet, sub zero planet. Another ice planet. Terraforming catastrophe. Okay, I am definitely going to want to go there and check whatever the hell that is. What on earth do you class as a terraforming catastrophe? E-class rifle. Hmm. Not getting much luck with the uh, S-classes this time. Got a hauler coming in. And an explorer. Another hauler and a shuttle. All of them B class. Alright, let's go down and see what the heck a uh, terraforming catastrophe is. Where was it? Do you guys know what they class a uh, terraforming catastrophe as? To me it looks like a um, an icy planet. It's got like copper, rusted metal and sodium on it, so not really too sure what to expect from this. So it is an icy planet. They just like cock it up so bad that nothing is living here, maybe. Weather is absent, sentinels are unwavering. It sounds like it's just dead. Low atmosphere planet. Plentiful resources are likely elevated strain on life support systems. Does that mean there's 
No flora. Uh, no fauna. Okay, so a uh, terraforming catastrophe is just like a, a dead planet. It's weird. Um, hmm. I'm thinking I might might go play some uh, permadeath if you guys wanted to watch that instead. Multi-tool hunting is just like more of the same whole thing, I think. Yeah, I'll go go in and I'll um, play some permadeath. Got lots of stuff to do there. Okay. Wow, well, I found a portal. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right, that's what I was doing. And that big critter over there as well. Yeah, I had just been doing some uh, drop pod stuff. Got a few extra slots in my, um, my cargo. Uh, that's what we got going on. <clears throat> uh, what was I doing? No launch. True. Play your navigation data. Got signal booster. I have no launch fuel. I do have one fuel. Pretty sure I was trying to make money so I could buy an exotic. They found an exotic. Yeah, that is what I was planning on doing. Yeah, okay. I know what I was doing. I was um, going to do some ship hunting. So the space station is what I want. So I had um, just been going to a few minor settlements, picking up Navigation data. So I've got some navigation data now. I'm going to go get some uh, charts and hopefully, um, hopefully pick up some crash ships and make some money. Because I wasn't entirely sure if this system had a first wave exotic, but it did show up in the first wave uh, the other day. Who knows, maybe I'll even be able to find it crashed. Do so you want to get up here? I have a traveler as well. I wanted to find his grave and get a glyph. Got two travelers in this system. I'll find the ship you want in Perma. <laughs> that would be uh, kind of funny. Uh, distress signals. 
go for 13. And in building, not what we want. Stress signal. Okay, down there somewhere. Okay, first distress beacon for uh, permadeath. Just need to see if there's a uh, a pilot there or not. I think because. Because I can't see any information on the ship itself, I think that means that that is a uh, crash ship with a pilot. Is that him there? Don't want to get too close. Oh god! I forgot that I don't have a uh, don't have much jetpack boost. Thought I was uh on the main game right now. I nearly died right there. Yeah, okay, so it's a crash ship with a pilot. So, I'm gonna stay away from that one. Hello there. Wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> okay, next. Next planetary chart. Give us another distress beacon. Nice. That's what we want. Up to the right somewhere. Up to the left. What do we got down here? Minor settlement. Very nice. Can pick up some uh, extra navigation data and maybe some more drop pod coordinate data as well. Keep upgrading our exosuit. Yucky C class pistol. No navigation data or drop pod coordinates. Unfortunate. 
was that distress beacon? Ah, it's just over there. Okay. Oh, nah, I'll fly. I'll fly. Yeah, give me that big ball hauler. That'd be worth heaps of money. Oh, okay, that's a cool looking fighter. I like the look of that. A long nose mecha seven single thruster. Interesting color as well. Claiming the ship, thank you very much. What do we need? I need a medic seal. A metal plate Prepared. Prepared. and need some dihydrogen jelly. I don't have anything to repair anything, so <laughs> better get some stuff. That's carbon, some ferrite dust. Be able to make our metal plating, <coughs> uh, dihydrogen jelly, and what else did I need? Hermetic seal. I need condensed carbon. Okay. I need to grab some carbon and refine it because I don't have a uh, advanced mining laser as of yet. Okay, that should do us for now. Let's uh, get down our refiner. This we're going to do doing a bit of um, ship hunting. I think it's worth it to make a full, full stack of uh, condensed carbon if I can. was some very tech right there. Very nice Starship launch fuel. And a Gek Relic, some navigation data. <laughs> I got the condensed carbon I needed from that. All done. I need to get some more carbon just in case we run out. Oh, no, go away. Oh, I didn't actually craft the medic seal. 
Old trust is good. Go away. Base station is over there. Should make about six hundred to uh, seven hundred thousand units out of this ship. If I can get away from everything. don't want to fight you, I am just about to explode. Please leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we made it to the space station with our first crash ship. It's only a C-class fighter, but still good nonetheless. It's running out of places to store stuff. I'm gonna have to go up and sell stuff first, actually. Get our wiring loom and some dihydrogen jelly there. Keep a hold of the jelly because we'll need that for our next ship. Can't delete any of this stuff. Nope. Okay. And we can sell the gold, wiring loom, platinum, pure ferrite. Do we have Gex here? We do have a Gex here. Okay. We can hand in the uh, the Gex relics. Okay, got two more standing with the Gek. What else can I get rid of? Factory override unit. No, I wanted to keep the sodium nitrate. Whoops. Buy one more chart so I can get rid of that spot taken up by the uh, the navigation data. That one. Okay. Good. I just started watching your stuff because I bought the game from the Steam Summer Sale. Not gonna lie, your vids are really helpful. Thank you very much for the feedback. I've been trying to help <laughs> where I can, so that's really good. Actually, I had thought you were going to try my challenge, that is to max upgrade your starter ship, starter multi-tool without leading a starter system. Oh wow, I think at 385? I thought it was closer to 70%. That's pretty garbage. Um. I was, but 
considering it's my first time playing uh, Permadeath, I didn't really want to go that, like, balls to the walls with it. Ooh. It's not a bad looking fighter either. Pretty clean. Like, I still wouldn't mind actually just doing it, but it does, it will, like, take a lot to do. Where's the distress signal? Oops. Ah. But being in permadeath is part of the challenge. Well, the only things that I have done is just, um, I have warped to one other system, and that was it. So I haven't really gone too far. Should really mark which one is the one with the um, the pilot next to it with a save beacon or something. No, I don't think I have the materials for a save beacon. <laughs> oh well. Is that the one with the guy? I think this is the one with the guy. Yeah, there's the guy there. This is not where we want to be. I'm going to go to that one. We've got a little yellow hauler. Okay, this should be worth some money. It's a big ball hauler as well. 32 million units. Beautiful. Gonna need quite a bit of pure ferrite as well. Gonna need heaps of ferrite dust now. Should have enough for a metal plating. I have enough for two, so where are we at? So I need another 43 ferrite dust so I can make 100 pure ferrite. Oh shit, that was a 
creature? What the fuck? Is it still giving me ferrite dust? I swear it was giving me ferrite dust. Um, the reason why I'm not going to go and help the crash pilot at the last uh, crash site is because if you leave one with a crash pilot and you use another planetary chart, it's guaranteed that your next one won't have a pilot. So it's something I should be uh, looking at and get get uh, technology modules and stuff from this. Clamber into the cargo ship and find its black box. As soon as I touch it, a holographic image of a panicked reptilian trader appears. Perhaps it's a message for their superiors, perhaps a loved one. It's impossible to tell as the playback is hauntingly silent. In its final moments, the trader seems to point at some freshly installed ship tech before dropping to its knees in despair. I discover the poorly installed tech that caused the crash. I scan its blueprint and can now construct it myself. Hey hey, teleport receiver. It's a nice little upgrade. The hermetic seal I need as well. Done, done. Ah, that's right. Need pure ferrite. And I don't have an. <laughs> I thought I had enough. Nearly. No, go away. Didn't, didn't start it. Didn't think they would actually hurt the, the ship, to be honest. this okay we've got a uh, very nicely priced ball hauler hmm. I could trade it to someone as well actually so if I do find the um oh, piss off Recent change, not being able to take cover in the ship. Yeah, I thought it would just be because they're uh, like small arms fire compared to like a ship's ship's uh, lasers and stuff. But yeah, this haul is worth a lot, so I should be able to trade it for something more expensive. And get a lot more money and uh, maybe like a A or S class as well. I mean, I could just do the, the ship glitch, but I don't really want to do any glitches with this playthrough.
But if I was, this would be a very nice ship to do it with. Okay, finally out of that and away from all that uh, beeping. What would you give us if we scrapped it right now? Ooh, eight and a half million units. He said if I bought that. See what else comes in for, for now. Yeah, there's probably not going to be too much coming in because it's a lawless system. So, well, never mind. Oh, we got a bandwing hauler. Cool. Explorer coming in. Wow, that would be an even nicer ship to do the, um, the glitch with. A class over there, A class here. Okay, I'm just going to scrap this one. Ah. Bugger. Forgot about that. <laughs> oh, let's sell some stuff. I think that's everything. Okay, let's scrap it now. Looking good. Here we go. We'll get rid of these uh, C class mods that they that they gave us. 120 nanites. So we've got 1300 now, so maybe we can make some upgrades. We have a life support module and a shield module. The only issue I have with these is I don't have any space. I think it's worth it. Worth it for permadeath anyway. Okay, let's go sell all that garbage that we got. Got some nice bunch of cash there. Yeah, certainly did. Uh, by the way, if this ship has an S-Class tech installed in it, Breaking down first, you'll get the antimatter. Oh yeah, I actually forgot about breaking down stuff in that. I did break break some stuff down in the um the fighter that I found earlier. Oh, six million. Still haven't found any um storage augmentations though. I know that I've only scrapped two C-class ships, but would have been nice. Okay, still have a few more, so we'll... what do you want me to do? 
at that, don't you? Okay. I have ten more to find. Honestly surprised that it hasn't given us a uh, crashed freighter location yet. I think that's the one I don't want to go to. Is that the one? No, that's the one. So we want to go to this one. Hi, hi. Hey, Snow. How are you doing, mate? I'm just uh, jumping into some more permadeath playing through, and um, we'll be looking at some uh, crash ships for a little bit. What do we got here? Shuttle. B class shuttle. Nice. The, a random factor in getting a ship space unit. You mean the storage augmentation? If you do, um, it does matter what class the ship is. So, C class, you're probably not going to get one. Um, but B class is a small chance, A class is a pretty decent chance, and then S class is like, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but it's, it's like, either guaranteed or almost guaranteed. Alright, gonna need to find some dihydrogen. We need to pick up some more carbon as well. Probably just get rid of the uh, the Mordite that it's giving us. Don't really need it right now. I got a microprocessor from that that uh, box earlier as well. Let's see if I can get some tech out of this. Interior of the downed craft is a patchwork of technologies, possibly scavenged from multiple ships. The portly corpse of a dead beaked life form sprawls across the control panel. Clearly, the deceased had a penchant for the finer things in life. The cargo hold is secured by some kind of homemade security system. Like the rest of the ship, it's a mishmash of technologies. Deactivating it could be tricky. Probably searching the pilot, he'd probably have something on him. Uh, decomposed grub like crustacean and an exosuit tech. Sweet. Proves my reward after the exertions of heaving the bloated corpse off the controls. Look at the hazmat gauntlet. Cool. Not gonna be much use to us, like, right now, but. Still something I don't have to buy in the future.
Okay, and you should be able to repair that. Make the dihydrogen jelly. Oh, our launch thrusters are good to go. Okay. That's nice. Let's head up to the space station. I think once I'm done here, I'm going to be going for some uh, minor settlements and then chasing some drop pod coordination coordinate data. It's going to be the way I'm going to. Oh, God. <laughs> I tried to shoot the asteroid, but my photon cannon might not be working. Was yesterday? Huh? Okay, actually, delete some of this stuff first. Tritium dihydrogen jelly, beautiful. Can't delete that, can't delete that. That's it. Don't need the tritium. Another 500,000 units. Ah, oh, come on. I've got nothing in here. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to sell these two first. Yesterday you were on the hunt for some nice looking fighters or freighters, but you only found sea types. Were you looking in uh, three star systems? That'll help a lot if you aren't. Let's just get rid of that. Taking up valuable space. I'm going to grab that so I can get um, minor settlements now. Okay, I'll scrap this little shuttle and move on to the next one. Very nice, got about 500 nanites from that one. Got lots of ball haulers in this system. It is actually uh, really good for us. Nice, might have settlement on the very first one. Wait, did that give us a distress signal? It did. Okay. In the number at the cross swords on the system map? No. Um, so, you get a galaxy map and you see, uh, see like the, the box on the right hand side there, it'll have the, the um, symbol of the 
the dominant life form. So in this one, it's the Gek. And then right next to that, it's got a set of stars next to it. You've got um, three stars in total there. Two are colored in for me here. That means I'm in a two, two star or tier two economy system. Uh, if you want to find S class or like higher class ships and well, multi tools as well, you have a better chance of finding them in uh, tier three or three star economy systems. I found a crash freighter, not what I want. Shoo, pirates. Just found a temperate planet with green grass, blue skies, and green blue water. No trees though. No, I'm sort of looking for like a, a rainforest. No, it's a bit of a big ask to find like a, a thick rainforest, but I, I have a planet in mind already, but the grass is uh, orange. I don't really want to go there right now because I've got like half of it built just to see what, what it's going to look like, what's possible, what fits, uh, what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing, things like that. And then once I've got everything like down to how it should be, then I'll um, delete it all and do it step by step. Level 3 conflict as well for the best chance for an S class. I thought the uh, conflict only sport, like only matted with the traffic into the um, system. A nice little shuttle again. Ooh, A class. Perfect. Good, good, good. We got like little fans. <laughs> It's like a little fan thruster thing, and one's jammed up on the, the side. See what I can find, no luck with the ships, so I may as well look for a planet. Oh, you don't have to, Tangles, but thanks anyway. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I can just build my own forest. It is a possibility for me, but it would be nice to not have to do that. Oh, S-class mining beam module. That's that's cool. Okay, install that. That's awesome. Twenty percent mining speed. That's huge. Microprocessor as well. Make the stuff I need. Shit, I did not need carbon nanotubes. I needed a hermetic seal. And I needed more ferret dust by the look of it. Not that. God oh, damn, that just one S-Class module for a multi-tool is huge. It's mining so quick. It's given me like a 25-30% a increase in mining damage as well. That's amazing. Uh, what do I want to get rid of here? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I've got, got ferret dust there. Uh, 
Actually, put some stuff in the starship. Put this salvage data there. The signal booster there, we don't need that yet because we're not going for drop pods. The launch fuel there as well. <laughs> what are you going to have for dinner, JP, if you haven't gone yet? Ship looks like a child's toy from a surprise egg. It does a bit. It's nice and compact, so it could do that. I actually heard that Kinder Surprise Eggs were banned in America or something, for some reason. I believe it was under the grounds of, like, terrorism or something stupid. So I want to check the distress beacon first. It's hard to tell just how long this craft crashed here. Uh, the pilot's reptilian body is fully decomposed and the technology looks dated. The pilot's skeletal hand is clutching something. I go to investigate, but a noise from the cargo hold distracts me. Cool. I think I'll investigate the noise. I'm startled by a local beast somehow feasting on a device being transported in the hold. It smashes into me as it bolts. I gather the cargo the creature has failed to devour. Oh, yes! We've got an economy scanner. Very nice. It's a big find. Oh, still haven't made the plating yet either. Oh, and we don't need to, um, don't need to do anything about the launch thrusters at the moment. That's nice. Get another wiring loom and another dihydrogen jelly. Did that. Okay, so the fan is broken. I don't know if that's like a an issue with the ship or if it's just how it is. I heard that too because children are able to swallow the little toy inside so it got some heat from the ATF and food department. What's the ATF? Sorry, wasn't here earlier, mate. Was taking a shower. That's okay, Donny. Don't worry about it, mate. It's all good. We're just um, jumping into some permadeath at the moment. I bought some some uh, planetary charts for some crash ships. So we're just investigating some distress beacons. Found a pretty large ball hauler earlier, which gave us about it was eight and a half million units. And this is a little. A-class shuttle that I just found. Which would be really nice to scrap. So it'll give us um, give us a heap of nanites selling the, the modules to one of the uh, vendors up top there. You're gonna need to sell stuff first too, because I've got no, no bloody space in my inventory. Rid of that. Hopefully. That's enough space. Toy was inside the chocolate. They changed it so it had a toy compartment. Well, wasn't that what it always was? So it was like a. Um, so over here, Kinder Surprise eggs were always like a, a chocolate Easter egg. 
but inside of it there was a like a smaller plastic egg so you'd bite it open and then you'd like push out this um, little capsule and then open it up and there'd be your toy in there it's a shortcut for alcohol tobacco and firearms don't ask me why they involve that department alcohol tobacco and firearms how is that like a department together though huh okay okay sell these modules let me get 600 nanites Probably just install that that uh, module. Okay, what now? I need to sell this stuff. Oh. I will be buying that and scrapping that. Got a S-Class ship here. That is very cool. So first off I'm going to sell him all the stuff from the other ship so I can scrap this one. I think that's it. I'm going to buy his ship. Okay, very good, very good. Oh, there was a ship leaving, not one coming in. I know all the good and fun stuff at one place. <laughs> it just feels like they, they would have had like a different department for each one, not but like all three mixed in one seems rather strange. Ah, of course you're gonna do that. Don't have any space. What do you want me to do? Very good. Well, what do I want to get rid of? Do that. Ferrite dust. We can pick that up really easy. The hydrogen's everywhere as well. We've got eight slots. Hopefully, that's enough to uh, scrap this this explorer. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. No. <laughs> Thought it was gonna let me go. Wait. What? Why is it giving me the modules? didn't give me the modules okay then I have to uh, jump back into the radiant pillar and um, put some stuff in here so I can put antimatter I put the I'm just gonna sell the magnetic resonator we don't really need it right now for anything Okay, 10 slots. No, I need to jump back into the Explorer as well, so I don't accidentally scrap that ship. Okay, I'm gonna test uh, JP's theory here where you get three storage augmentations from an S-Class ship. Yes, finally got it. We got two. So you, you don't get three, but we got two. That's good enough for me. I'm just going to sell all of these and I'm going to upgrade the storage on the radium pillar for now. Hmm. 
Just need more space at the moment. Once we get going with space, then we can start looking at upgrading things and getting different uh, ships and, and whatnot. Unfortunately, don't have space to keep those mods, even though they are very good. B class shuttle. Buy my stuff, guy. Buy it all. Good guy. Okay. On to the next ship. Hey, I didn't even go backwards then. That was not my fault at all. Going back to the same planet again, it looks like. And I think that one is not the one we want to go. We're going to go to this one here. Uh, so, wish you an awesome stream, but have to go to work now. By the way, keep up your nice vids. Thank you, Xanderlord. I'll um, catch you next time, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Running a bit low with their um, pulse engine as well. Got any tritium in here? No. Okay, so next one definitely gonna have to recharge that. Oh, no, we don't want the crash freighter. Do not want crash freighters at all. So we do have three distress beacons up on the screen at the moment. That's not the one we want. We don't want the crash freighter. So that's the one over there. I think. <laughs> I hope, anyway. Yeah, it's close enough. No, this one's got the guy. This is the wrong one. Let me go to that one. Get some tritium while I'm here. Okay, should be all good to recharge a bit. See, that only got me like 30%. It's bugger all. Let's see what kind of ship we get here. That's another one of the same shuttles. Okay. Aha, another A class shuttle. Very nice. Very, very nice. Under a large ceiling pipe lies the decayed pilot's body, and beneath it I notice a sharp glint of metal. 
The control panel still hums with life, but upon closer inspection, the thrusters prove inoperable. The life form could have been trapped alone on this planet for years. Hmm. Well, it's still operational, so I think the data banks would still hold some stuff. Everything has been deleted aside from a promising tech blueprint. Ooh, we got the advanced mining laser. Alright. Oh, look at that guy. Saw him underground earlier. Is that his, his head? No, that's a rock. <laughs> I thought I thought that there was his um was his actual body. Okay. So don't actually need to um continue with the story. The, the quest line. And just uh do that and we can get our own advanced mining laser. So, medic seal and carbon nanotubes is what we need. Actually need two carbon nanotubes because we need to fix our starship as well. Okay, very nice. We've got a, a lot going on now. Need an extra slot though so we can arrange this together. Should have done that earlier. A Viking effigy. More navigation data. So, chuck some navigation data in the ship earlier. So, put that back in the radiant pillar. Just so we can have a bit more space. Then we'll fix this little shuttle. Pulse thrusters, er, um, I do actually need that, er, launch thrusters, rather, uh, online, so that's good. Just need some, uh, ferrite dust, we're good to go. Please bugger off. Just trying to salvage some ships, mate. Just leave me alone. Okay, and we're good. I find it weird that the uh, little fan is like tucked inside on the left there. Should stay in the atmosphere until the sentinels are gone. Oh god. Okay. Should have a straight shot back to the space station now. Ah. Mate, I've got nothing. Just, just leave me alone. Got nothing at all. Alright, hopefully get another like, five or six hundred nanites out of the uh, tech. Maybe even a storage augmentation would be lovely. Where am I going?
Beautiful, we got two A-class tech, tech mods. That should give us five or six hundred nanites. Six hundred. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get a... No augmentation. Fortunately. Sell our stuff to this bloke here. There we go. So if you didn't know, you can just keep um, keep trying to use a chart until it gives you the exact thing that you want. Fusion cores gone. Cogs gone. Beautiful. All right. If we can get a, uh, if we could get the exotic, that'd be amazing. I'm going to assume that it's going to give us um, a ship on this planet again. For a stress beacon, stress beacon, uh, that should be the crashed freighter there, I think. Yes, so we're going to go to this one here. That's going to be good. So when you get explorers like this one, where they have like a big pod on the side, they are generally really good for storage capabilities. And when you're looking at the value of a ship like this, it should be worth like over 10 million units. 20 million units. Beautiful. Look at that. B class, which is why it's over. Well, oh, it's nearly 20. Yeah, these big pods, really good for uh, storage. Clearly downed by an attack from a superior vessel, the ship's interior is a charred mess of burnt metal and debris. It feels like it could fall apart at any moment. The craft shudders as I head into the cockpit where its black box projects footage of the ship's purpose and final moments. A diplomatic vessel attacked by a vigilante warrior race. Wars have been started by less. This craft is likely sorely missed by its people. If I boost the homing beacon sig signal, do I get to keep the ship? The homing beacon signal intensifies, I receive a reward instantly. Hopefully the pilot's people will find it and give the trader a fitting burial. Get increased standing with the Gek, and I got some units. So... Haha, <laughs> but I can still take the ship. <laughs> That's good. I needed some dihydrogen. Wait, no, I don't actually need dihydrogen. I have enough jelly. I need need more ferrite dust. Always the ferrite dust.
Oh, hey! There he goes, little rock critter. That should be plenty of dust now. Is that ammonia? It's a hermetic seal, needs some condensed carbon. So, got the, um, did I, I installed it. Yeah, I've got the advanced mining laser now, so if I find condensed carbon, I can just uh, mine it straight away, which is beautiful. No, I'm probably not going to find it. And a landed pilot, an A-class hauler. Let's see what he has to sell. Pretty sure he'll only have uh, black market tech to sell, but... Yeah, just suspicious technology modules. We don't want any of that right now. G'day mate, how you doing? Oh, he's got some uh, condensed carbon over there. Ah, oh, that's so much nicer than uh, refining carbon. That's so we can make a hermetic seal. We have that. Uh, we have ferrite dust for repairing the launch thrusters. What are you going to give us? Some. 31 nanites. Should be able to repair everything. Oh, I need pure ferrite. Ah. Aha! Okay, so the advanced mining laser is um, it's rather a big deal at the moment. That's nice. Oh, go away. Just leave me alone, Sentinels. Don't, don't want to be bothered by you. We're doing some other stuff at the moment. Okay, another excellent ship find on our way back to the space station to scrap it or trade it. It's B class, so I wouldn't mind scrapping it, but if we can get a, uh, a decent ship that's A class, that would be a lot better for some nanites and the possibility of storage augmentations. But I think after this one I'm going to go to the minor settlement and try and um, snag myself some some uh, drop pod coordinate data so I can increase the size of my suit See what we can get out of this. Probably six million units. Five and a half. Okay, let's see what else comes in. That's worth around that five, six, seven, eight million unit mark. We've got three thousand nanites. Plenty of money actually. Can just um, upgrade the space of my 
multi-tool a little bit. Purchase a new slot. We'll just max this out. There we go. Now that's all connected. Get our first ship coming in there. That's a little shuttle. It's not S class, then the shuttle's probably not worth it. B class. Another shuttle. Ooh, A class five and a half million. Hmm. That is actually perfect. So we're only going to lose out on 50,000 units by trading. Actually, first off, I will do that. Yeah, he's got that chip. CCC. If I wanted, I could go over there and claim my ship back, but I'm not going to do any glitching in uh, permadeath. This is a bit of a, a bug or an exploit, but if you go back to this guy, because I just sold him a busted ass ship, it's all it's all messed up. I can claim it back for him for free, but if you wait long enough, he will actually get in there and fly off in it. So we're just going to let him go. And we lost about 1.7 million units by doing this trade, but we're going to get more. I'm not yeah, <laughs> I was just thinking I might not actually have the space to do that. Um, and I want to destroy this stuff as well. Don't need the tritium, so it can stay there. Only nine slots is enough. But yeah, I made the trade mostly because I want the storage augmentation for our Radiant Pillar. Ah, uh, need 10. I need, yeah, 10. Get rid of the dihydrogen. Yep, 10's good. Yes, we've got a storage augmentation. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now we can upgrade this. See, it costs us 3 million to upgrade a slot, but because we have the augmentation, get it for free. We're up to 4,000 nanites. And as you can see, that's where our ship was over there or there, and it's it's gone now. We could buy that one if we wanted for 20 million if we had it. 32 million for that one. Okay, so I just want to go and actually, it's a lot of chromatic metal. Chuck that there, so we have have a full stack. It's going to sell all this stuff to a pilot, then we'll go down to a miner settlement and look for some uh, drop pod coordinate data. Come on. Sell. Actually, I should have two navigation data here, so I'm going to 
Go grab a couple more charts from the cartographer. That way I can find a couple more minor settlements. Those ones. Lovely. Alright. We've already got a minor settlement marked. Let me just fly to that one. First off. There it is. Hopefully we can find a really cool multi-tool along the way. S-class cabinet would be amazing. Little tip for trying to land at landing pads, sometimes they won't won't let you land unless you um, like fly just full speed directly at it and don't pull up or don't slow down. That's the, <laughs> the best way I've found. I guess the C-class cabinet? Yep. Crappy multi-tool. Pick up the navigation data. Oh, some nanites. Specimen for some free reputation. And you better have what I want. Two navigation data. No drop pod coordinate data though. Unfortunate. On to the next one. So what I like to do is I like to mark a... Wait, no, that's not what I want anyway. I like to mark something like that and then while it's doing its, uh, its little motion here you take off as well you're gonna get our second one trading post okay so it's a good thing I picked up those uh, extra bits of uh, navigation data so I can go ahead and actually a couple of charts if I want but I'm just gonna do a bit of a fly around and see if I can't find one myself like that. Oh, I think that's B class. Yep, that's the B class rifle. Get our nanites. There is a specimen over here as well, so these uh, minor settlements are really good. Rank 5 out of 9 for the GEC already. You're gonna have what I want. You do not have any drop pod coordinate data. What is this? What are you doing to me? I already grabbed that and that. Okay. Let's see if we can find another one.
What do we got here? Just a little save beacon. Would have been cool if there was like a little uh, minor settlement on the on the island there. Okay, so this transmission tower here will give us the uh, location of a minor settlement, so land down here and let it mark us, mark one for us. Hopefully it doesn't mark the one that I was just at. Good, I haven't been to that one that I, that I know of. No launch No, gonna have to go up into space for this one. Here it is over there on the horizon. Hopefully this guy will give us some uh, drop pod coordinate data. G'day mate. Another B class cabinet? Yep. Even if it's just A class I might have a look around and see what's available. No. Oh. Huh. The last few that I visited they just like had heaps of it. Oh well, keep looking. Actually, I think this guy can give you a like a bit of a mission as well. So we'll see what he wants. If he wants anything. <laughs> Lifeform's eyes widen in surprise when I go to talk to them. They lean back and watch for sudden movements. They are unused to visitors wandering in from the toxic wastelands and they have clearly never seen anything quite like me before. I mime that I cannot speak their language and increasingly reassured the big trader indicates that they are willing to help in exchange for particular elements. The grateful trader clicks their beak with delight my offering is clearly what they most desired. They teach me much of the dialect of their people. Cool, it gave me two words. That's awesome. Navigation data. What do we got? Learned how many words? 100 words? 20 words. I thought I'd learned a heap more. Obviously not. More nanites. Let's start collecting the uh, very technology modules as well. Wherever it is, here somewhere. There it is. Ok, 
Okay, let's see what else we can find. Another something over here. The shelter. Get down here. The save beacon. Another unknown building ahead. There's the units. Oh, planetary deposit. Okay, we can get some good money here. Actually, have to hit the uh, the canisters though. There we go. There you go, got them all. Okay. Just gonna stay in the area now until the sentinels leave. There we go. All good. There we go, there we go. 125,000, 200,000, 200,000, and 100,000. So it's at 600,000 units for five seconds. sell that at the next uh, minor settlement I find. We got a planetary archive as well. Finally got something else over here. Please be a settlement. Oh, just a shelter. Another another something over here as well. Ah, trading post. Now I'll land here and I'll uh, sell some stuff. Create some um, some space. Oh, we actually got ten dirty bronze, not five. So got more like uh, 700,000 units from that, that raid. C class, C class, C class. C class as well. So nothing that we wanted to buy anyway.
Just another little save beacon. Where's all the minor settlements at? Well, got something here. We'll land and have a bit of a look around. Transmission tower. Let's see if I'm good at math today. Long ago, it seems an automated distress call went unanswered. If I can crack the encryption pattern, I could potentially extract the coordinates. 1, 2, 6, 24, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, Distress signal coordinates discovered. Should be another crash ship out in out on a planet somewhere. All the way over there. I'm going to need to create a heap of uh, launch fuel actually. I'm going to need dihydrogen and ferrite dust. So I have plenty of ferrite dust in my ship. I need to get some dihydrogen. Got 29 nanites out of that machinery. Go away, Sentinels. You're not needed here. I swear there was more dihydrogen around somewhere. There it is. Running out of charge on our mining beam as well. We yoink some carbon. That's everything I need. I don't need that coal, but cobalt, so let's get rid of that. Heaps of dihydrogen. And uh, so I've got heaps of ferrite dust in my ship as well. Quite a few uh, launch fuels. Chuck that in the ship. for five. Is that empty? No, we've got one more jump left in us. Alright. Get back out there and try find another uh actually which one was that distress signal that it gave us? That could be it. That's it, that one. We'll keep flying over to this distress beacon and see if we can find anything along the way. It's the distress beacon that... Okay, it looks like the distress beacon is the uh, stranger's coordinates. So we actually have to go for the main storyline as well. Didn't know that that could be a um, possibility, but it's a possibility. Oh, we can get a minor settlement from this one here.
Hopefully it's along the way. Oh. Don't need any lost fuel yet. What was 50%? Okay, Mata Settlement is technically on the way, but it's way past the uh, Distress Beacon. Got something over here. Just a shelter, where's all the minor settlements at? What are you doing? Just another save beacon? The shelter. I feel like I'm getting really uh, unlucky with trying to find minor settlements. I'm probably not going to find any at all because we're about to cross an ocean. Actually, the ocean wasn't as big as I thought. Still a couple of minutes away. What do you got down here? Abandoned building. Still no minor settlements. Nope. Not usually uh, this uncommon. That one? Ah, it's a bloody trading post. Oh, well, I guess we're going to um, get to the strangers' coordinates before another minor settlement. I believe this is going to be Artemis's ship. Yep, it's Artemis' ship. So there you go, a uh, transmission tower can actually take you to Artemis' ship. Did not know that. I'd imagine then a um, planetary chart could have given you these coordinates as well. Because it is still a crashed fighter. Transmission tower 
Hermetic Metal. I have chromatic metal in here. You always find minor settlements grouped together. You won't find any than three or four really near each other. Yeah, I wouldn't really find like three or four, but Two? Yeah, for sure. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans and upgrade for my mining beam. A pulse spitter. Okay, so if you actually already have the uh, <laughs> the advanced mining laser, it's going to give you something else, which is cool. I didn't know that. Gives us a uh, pulse spitter. Not that I um really want to use that right now. Search for clues about Artemis on the other worlds. Right, so don't even really want his ship. It's kind of kind of garbage, really. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Ah, that's right. But oh, the very technology module. There you are. And my ship was over on the ridge somewhere. There we are. Guess I'll uh, be heading on over there then. Unless we got something here? No, not a uh, not a minor settlement. No, I'm just gonna go up into space and fly to that one directly. It's uh, bugging me a little bit. I know Artemis is calling, but I have no real interest in uh, progressing the storyline at this this moment in time. All I freaking want is just some drop pod coordinate data, please. Or cool multi tool. No, that's B. B class. C class, even. Terrible. Yes! Cool. Two. For, for navigation data as well. Lovely. stuff, see what this guy wants. The trader eyes the facility door, coughing faintly in the toxic air that followed me through the airlock. They look as if they have been stuck in here for a while. They reach down their beak, oh, with their beak, and dejectedly peck at their exosuit, corroded and covered in rust. It's ill-equipped for the hostile conditions that rage outside. So you should need sodium to to fix that. 
Lifeform is confused. They look at me and blink rapidly before turning away. Dejected. They gently peck at the carbon. But sodium is for your hazard protection. <laughs> What's my favorite species? Um, I would probably say Corvax. Just because they're robots. <laughs> I think that'd be it. Met 10 aliens. But I mean... Mm, Then buy the salvage data. Don't need salvage data. Oh, he's just gonna keep calling me, aren't you? Oh, it's Nada. Atomus Entity, we received your signal. Is it first or is it last? Time for truth. You have the signal, but you are not Atomus Entity. It's correct, I am not. The signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. Yeah, a couple times. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes. A proper introduction to our home. Okay. Cool, I can go to the anomaly, but right now... Give me the freaking lighter settlements, dude. Oh wait, no. <laughs> I've already got the uh, drop bug coordination data. I'll find another one, that way I can land for free as well. Um, I find salvage data really easy to find as well, Alex. Uh, I never really like feel the need to buy it. I need it, and it like um, six or seven hundred or whatever. But yeah, I think I can get about three hundred in an hour pretty easily. And for this, I'm on. I'm playing on permadeath too, by the way. So. Storage space is limited. Not a minor settlement. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to have a bit of trouble finding another one. Yep, looks like I am. Alright, so I'm going to go back up into the space station. I think... I've got 11 navigation data so I can... Oh! Okay, there's the anomaly. Uh, yeah, so I can grab 11 planetary charts. Oh, I've got no fuel. Crap. Should be plenty of tritium. Lovely. Yeah, so we'll head on over to the uh, cartographer. And then I'll probably go to another planet and look for some, uh, some minor settlements. I think I'm in a two star, yeah, two star system.
So while finding an S-Class cabinet is not out of the realm of possibilities, it's going to be rather hard. Shit, what? <laughs> I forgot what I came here for for, the, for a second then. I'm um, going to the cartographer, that's correct. Hey, that's that, um, it's the first fighter I found. Ooh, that thing's worth quite a lot too. Quite a lot of storage in it for a fighter. Ooh, we're starting to learn a few words here. So we go for 11 charts. Okay, so there's an icy planet around here somewhere that I think I will want to go to. What's this one? I think this was a dusty planet or something. Oh, go away, pirates. There's two of them. Actually, four total. Five, okay. You're really coming at me with that hauler? Pirates destroyed. What do we get here? Journey milestone. Destroyed five ships. I think it's the ringed planet that I want to go to. So there's a planet behind this one. That's where I'm. That's where I'm uh, thinking I need to go. There we go. I just want to make sure I'm pulsing to the land. I'm not going to end up in the ocean.
Let's see if we can find a, another minor settlement now. What is that noise? Not a fan of that. A little like um beeping sort of noise. Welcome back JB. What did you um what did you have for dinner? Gonna give me some trouble finding a um, a minor settlement here too. Loving the landscape of this planet, though the uh, the trees and everything look really good. Everything looks nice and clean. Stuff that I'm just going to land here for now. Okay, don't <laughs> don't want to deal with that. But we get our save be oh signal booster out and use our drop pod coordinate data. And while we're in this motion, we will use a planetary chart to find another matter settlement as well. So our drop pod is over here. Shit, that's ages away. Grilled chicken sandwich covered with barbecue sauce and waffle fries. The heck of waffle fries? They like fries in the shape of a waffle or? I have no idea what that is. Waffle fries. Got an unknown building right next to it as well. That is a cool setting. I really like this planet. The trees, the grass, the like the bushes and everything, it looks really good. It makes you feel like you're in a wintry forest. That's really cool. I assume this save beacon was the uh, unknown building. Yeah. So we're going to need antimatter housings, sodium nitrate, and carbon nanotubes. Antimatter housings, you're going to need oxygen and ferrite dust. Move that over. No, I can't move that over there. I landed too far away. There. Should give us thirty. Yep, thirty stuck. And 
get rid of that. Uh, so I must be an American thing. Uh, eating pizza rolls. I know what pizza rolls are. Uh, imagine slices of potatoes in a grid pattern. So... Do you like weave them in and out? So if you, if you just got like chips from Macca's, right? And just like laid them out with one centimeter spacing and then got another layer and just laid it uh, is it a perpendicular. Is, is that all it is? Or is it like one, one thing? Oh shit, actually I'm um, dying over here a little bit. So I want to get away from that sentinel and some ferrite dust. Here we go. I think I should have plenty of ferrite dust for what I need right now. Yep. Ah. It's antimatter housing. I'm gonna create. Do I have the oxygen as well. I have the oxygen. Just need more. More, more uh, ferrite dust. I think I want to go for ten. So if you don't know, all of the uh, drop pod will all the drop pods in the same system will require the same things. So for me, it's going to be an antimatter housing, sodium nitrate, and whatever else it was that I've gotten already. So I'm just going to stack up ten, um, so that way I don't have to mess around doing this every single time I get to a new uh, drop pod. It's one thing. But how the hell do you make it then? Or is there just like a lot of wasted potato? Or do you just get like... Do you, do you just like slice a potato? And then chuck it in a waffle iron? So there's my 10 antimatter housings. I can get a little bit more ferrite dust just in case we need it later. Oh, go away, Sentinels. No one likes you. We're gonna need a fair bit of sodium now, so. Track some down. So we're gonna need uh, sodium nitrate, actually. Intermeta housing, sodium nitrate, and carbon nanotubes. So we're going to need 100 total sodium nitrate. 200 sodium in uh, my starship, actually. So I can go grab that and we'll be all set for sodium at the minute. Okay, we'll chuck down the refiner. There is, it's made in a manufacturing facility. There is a special slicer that they use in its creation.
I'm looking it up. Oh, okay. I was expecting something more like a uh, a hashtag, <laughs> but like if if it was just like a bunch of hashtags like laid out next to each other, something bigger spacing is what I was imagining. Now I want to make carbon nanotubes. I need 500 carbon. And these trees got the shakes on when you hit them. <laughs> For some reason that the rings there just made me feel like I was on a, a halo ring. Apparently <laughs> the, the ground sort of like lipped up there on the edges. Only at 200. Thought I'd be closer to 400 by now. So, gonna have to get some more to recharge the uh, multi tool as well. Oh! <laughs> Forgot about that. Probably not really the person who should be playing a game mode like uh, Permadeath. In fact, I killed myself yesterday with a freaking geology cannon. Oh. Oh! Okay, I did... Overdid the, um... <laughs> the garb in there a little bit. Okay, so if I chuck these in here, I can get a 500 stack of carbon there. Beautiful. Okay, so I have 10 sets of stuff ready for drop pods. Hmm, now do I want... I think if I can get these... So I'll do three technologies. So I can start moving my... Um, technology over into technology tab oh there it's zero percent that's what that's on about okay uh, over here I could be able to grab my nitrate from this I've still got extra carbon in here too. Alright, and did I get a I do have a minor settlement to go to. Beautiful. So go to the minor settlement and I'll chuck down the signal booster and go to our next drop pod as well. So 
was almost as bad as the time I was talking to a friend who lives in England, telling him that I made tater tot casserole. He had no idea what a tater tot was. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so tater tots, are they like, I'm pretty sure we call them potato gems. Are they like, uh, I want to say a small ball similar to a hash brown. It's like a small ball of potato uh, fried in oil. Another C class cabinet. No drop pod coordinate data for me. Signal booster. Drop pod over there, and did we get a minor settlement? No, we got an observatory. Formed hash browns, yeah, so pretty much what I said. Mata settlement, very nice. Way off in the distance. So our drop pod is over here. Oh, nice, it's fairly close this time. I'm pretty sure that's what a tater tot is. Look up a potato gem and let me know if potato gem is what you're saying. Oh, piss off. Okay, very good. One more technology slot and then I can move on to some other stuff. No fuel. I had a settlement over here. And I feel like having uh, potato gems and gravy for breakfast now. <laughs> Oh shit, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> yep, exactly the same thing. Okay, yeah, we call them potato gems. But I was pretty sure that they were tater tots. How the hell do you make that into a casserole? What on earth do you put into it? I'm sort of like imagining something like a, a potato bake, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, what do we got here? It's new. B class. Um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning for me. 
no more drop pod coordinate data either. Yes, another minor settlement. Hopefully it's close. Twelve minutes away? Hmm. We got a crash freighter there as well. Uh, ground beef mixed vegetable soup tater tots on top baked in an oven so it sounds a hell of a lot like a shepherd's pie <laughs> shepherd's pie but instead of like a mashed potato and cheese top um, that you bake on top it's like got the tater tots on top Bloody mountain and let me go aim down at it. Yeah, I'm definitely just like imagining a shepherd's pie, but instead of uh, mashed potato, it has like potato gems on top, which is interesting. It's it's different. It's definitely different. It's crunchy though. Oh yes, four data. That is beautiful. Cheap in the system too. Okay, get our signal booster out. Uh, if you guys didn't know, if you wanted to, like, buy um, navigation data, salvage data, or drop pod coordinate data from a, a minor outpost like, like this. Um, so this guy had four of them, originally. He, he had four drop pod coordinate data, I bought them all. Um, if you want more data but you don't want to keep looking for the minor settlements you can actually reset his stock by coming out jumping in your ship creating an autosave and just reloading I'm not actually going to go and buy the um, the data but it's just to show you that you can you can do that got four more drop pod coordination data. I keep saying coordination but yeah drop pod coordinate data that you can um, you can buy there. Yeah well it sounds exactly the same to me JP. Tater tots are good? Yes they are. We have them with uh, like on their own with Gravy and a bit of cheese over. Yesterday you said Null was your favourite, so Artemis or Apollo? Um, I'd probably go for Artemis. I'm not. Yeah, like I think I said yesterday that I wasn't really a fan of uh, Apollo at all. 
Just his character made him seem like a, like a dick. He's supposed to be friends with Artemis, but he never really cared to actually help you help Artemis. Okay, you got another technology slot. I assume that this is what you did to um, get your suit upgrades, JP. Ooh, Geknip! <laughs> cool. See, chuck down the booster and get our next location. And hopefully that's a minor settlement. No! Oh, planetary archive. Okay. <clears throat> Try again. Observatory. No good to me. Probably going to fly into that. No, I missed it. I'm down the bottom there. Got a minor settlement over there and a drop pod over here. My grandmother's recipe one pound ground beef, one envelope dry onion soup mix, one can cream of chicken soup, a half soup can of water, 20 ounces of packaged frozen vegetables, 20 ounces of package uh, tater tots. Cool. <laughs> Pretty much everything I cook I just uh, improvise and it always turns out like I, I don't really want to like toot my own horn or anything but it always turns out like fucking good. <laughs> my wife gets uh, pretty pretty annoyed at me <laughs> with it to be honest. She's always struggled with um cooking and stuff so combine ground beef and onion mix add remaining ingredients except tater tots and heat so, yeah that's that's basically a shepherd's pie Okay, now should I go for general or cargo? I think general is going to be more helpful at the moment just because everything goes straight in there. So, let's see where the next one is. Now what's going to be closer, the minor settlement, the drop pod, 
Podzę. It's pretty far away. We'll go there first anyway. What other kind of weird foods do you guys have that you you think might only be um, American? Uh, you you were talking about waffle fries earlier. We have this thing called curly fries. I assume you'd have that too, but it's a little different. So maybe not. What have I got? <gasps> nice. I've got two drop pods right next to each other, and I don't have to mark this one. That's cool. Very cool. There's the other one. Six hundred meters this way. Damn, now you're hungry for that. You're hungry for the um, your tater top casserole. You have them too, but you're not a big fan. Fair enough. They're just chips to me, so <laughs> it doesn't really... Yeah, you know, like it's six to one, half a dozen the other sort of deal. Hmm. Sort of don't really know if Australia has any any of its own unique foods. Like, there's always going to be the pavlova argument. But... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> New Zealand always seems to think that they, they made it up and then Australians always seem to think that they made it up, so... Who really knows? It's the only real, like, Australian unique food that you can claim is from Australia only is kangaroo meat. I was going the wrong way the whole time. And if you didn't know, an interesting fact about Australia is that we are the only country in the entire world who eats the animals that are on our coat of arms. Rueberger spoon. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually a fan of, of kangaroo. Like, it's, it's good. Um... It's really, really healthy meat because it's all all muscle. Uh, it's really good in high in protein and everything. It's really good, healthy meat for you. But um, I always just found it really tough. I had crocodile once when I was a kid. That was um, a bit different. Sort of like comes out like chicken. It's really, really strange. Honestly, it's so long ago that I can't really um, say for sure, but I just remember it being similar to chicken. I don't know if I'm thinking of the, the taste or the texture or the just the look. Right, we're talking 15, 20 years ago now. I remember exactly where I had it. At this uh, little restaurant on the beach across the road from a skate park. It tastes like chicken. Okay, there you go. That's what it is. 
I've seen um, Jugong cooked before, and the the fat um, it actually turns like this green. It has like a green tinge to it. It's really weird. Oh, I should have marked. Oh, anyway, minor settlement time. Where are you? Have I already been to it? Surely not. Sea snake is the best meat you've eaten. That is different. Definitely, definitely different. I feel like all my markers got wiped. Because I had observatory, planet, planetary archive and a whole bunch of stuff. Now I gotta look at him again. Oh, I gotta um, find him again. Germany and England. Oh. Texture of lobster, but better tasting. Yeah, my wife's uh, like deathly allergic to seafood, so I haven't really had anything to. Um, <laughs> anything from the ocean in a long time now. Like, uh, not sure if you're aware, but the Worcestershire sauce actually has um, anchovy oil in it. Um, that's put her in the hospital before. Uh, they got a pizza once. Um, so as a meat lover's pizza, it had been cut with the same cutter that had cut a pizza earlier in the night uh, that had prawns on it and that put her in the hospital as well so yeah gotta be pretty careful around seafood now oh oh S class we got an S class cabinet no way Holy! I have got to mark this place. Uh, metal plating. Um, yeah, it was was really scary. She's never had to, um, like, had a reaction since I've been with her, but that's just what she's told me from uh, before. We've been really careful around it, though. Navigation data. Okay. Alright. Um, just going to, well, reload on this planet, I guess. Oh yeah, that pistol is disgusting. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be buying that. <laughs> I'd rather stick with the um, the waveform, the starter pistol, than that thing. But that should be the pistol from that planet over there. Oh no, I did reload on this planet. Yeah, that's right. I reloaded on this planet to show you guys how you can reset the stock of the trader hang on hang on hang on, hang on. Um, starship view just in case I fuck this up positive 1270 and positive 2680 okay place the uh, save beacon but I just want to make sure that I have the coordinates just in case the save beacon whatever reason isn't there Say beacon, no? I see it on the map. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. Oof. 
What a rush. Never really actually expected to find an S-Class uh, cabinet. Not this early, anyway. Oh, this will actually be really cool, because um, this is permadeath as well in the Euclid system, so this can help out quite a few um, quite a few people if I find a cool uh, multi-tool anyway. I'll chuck it up on the uh, coordinates exchange reddit. It's a shame though, I did just um, install an S-Class mining laser mod to my uh, pistol. Well not just, probably like two hours ago now, really. Yeah, time to see what the system has to offer for multi-tools. Okay, so this is going to be the S-Class multi-tool for the planet of uh, Outpost. Nice music for this moment too. <laughs> Mind you, I did find and claimed a B-Class experimental multi-tool in my starter system. I've since gotten it maxed out. Very cool. It also is a ugly pistol. It's um, it's annoying me that the uh, that it's clipping like that because I wanted to go to photo mode and take a photo of it for um, for a video or whatever. I would have liked to have had that option. Is what I'm trying to say anyway. No, it's all right. I'll um just end up probably clipping sections out of the stream then. I haven't done that yet, so I don't really know how that's going to work. Still use the starter multi tool since it's maxed out. It's set up the way you like it. Fair enough.
Ooh. Okay, so we've got Keizo 39 and we'll um, check it out what what uh, S-Class multi-tool it has. Yeah, I'll, I'll reload on the space station as well. I know that it has its own um, set of uh, set of multi tools as well. What a rush though, like, I did not expect to find, I wasn't even looking for an S-Class cabinet. In a two star system too, that was like only the, um, maybe the 10th? Somewhere in that 10 to 20 range for the amount of minor settlements I've found so far in this system. And there really is such a long distance between uh, in between those two worlds. But finally here, I'm going to see what the S-Class uh, multi-tool for Keizo 38, or whatever it was, Keizo, has to offer. God, that's ugly, but it's 24 slots. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quickly save a couple of these uh, screenshots. So just bear with me for a second, please. Never mind, I didn't get it. Anyway, so that is probably the pick of the bunch so far, cause just because it's got 24 slots in it. Three really bad looking multi tools so far. <laughs> See, how many bodies do we have in the system? Nice, okay, so we're going to have seven different S class multi tools. So we've seen these ones so far. We'll go see what the uh, space station has for us. Do the space station, we'll see what it has, and then we'll go back to our base and see what it has. And then that moon. It looked like a rifle. Yeah, it's a short rifle. What did I say? Did I say pistol?
Um, if you guys are new to the stream, I've just found an S-Class multi-tool cabinet in my permadeath playthrough. This is my starter system. Um, and I'm just checking out what the the S-Class multi-tools are in the system. So, yeah, so far we've gone through three out of the seven. And we're going to see what the uh, space station will have for us now. Where's that safe beacon going? It, over here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Internet got a little better. Oh, welcome back, Donny. Did you, did you have to leave? Did your internet drop out? So, God, God, that looks awful, but at least it's 24 slots. Yeah, yeah, the blue and yellow um, does not look good. I think uh, the pistol looked better than that one. Why would I check the multi-tool at the space station? It's a um, C-class cabinet. I've just reloaded on the station. Because the station has its own multi-tool pool. That should do us for a bit. Hey, um, what do you guys think of the stream quality? So I've got it up on my laptop at the moment. It doesn't look like too crash hot, but I don't really know how it actually looks for you guys because my laptop's like 12 years old. I think I can only stream it at 720p though. She's a bit weird. So I got a rifle. Okay, now that is better. Alright, so the multi-tool at the space station. Definitely the pick so far. Definitely. It looks good. Is it pretty clear?
So far I haven't had to click on the live button to get it back up to speed. For you it is, yeah? Okay, that's good. Um, nice multi-tool name. What was the multi-tool name? I didn't even look. <laughs> I just saw that it was like a, a clean looking rifle and that was so much better than everything else that that has um, shown up so far. Like, so much better. Um, do you guys watch other YouTube live streams? Do they are they able to like stream it in 1080p? I'm not sure. It's something I'm interested in because um, I, don't know, I I tried streaming Escape from Taco yesterday and it didn't really turn out that well. well. In my opinion, it didn't look look good at all. I know No Man's Sky is a lot smoother and a lot easier, but. Yeah, just wanted to see if that was an option. Ah, I need some more launch fuel. I do watch other streams, but never faster or slower than 720. Okay. You like the Tarkov stream? Oh, I enjoy playing Tarkov and and everything, but um, Escape from Tarkov is a very weird game. It um. It has a lot of issues when it comes to things like uh, just recording and streaming. It just feels like it's it's very pixelated in Tarkov. I just didn't want to make sure, I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't happening here. Alright then, let's see what you got for sale. Geknip, Gek Relic. Um, ah, I don't need anything. But yeah, I just feel like it would benefit a lot more from like 1080p, 60fps sort of deal. But I didn't know if um, if that was an option to do that or not. It might be something that you unlock once you um, get partnered, so once you get to a, a thousand subs or whatever it is. Because I know there's a lot of things that you can do once you get once you get to a thousand subscribers. you unlock like the community tab you can do polls and and um, and things like that they have like their own tweet sort of deal actually had my first crack at a uh, YouTube short a couple days ago it's actually doing really well as well um, 
the, the video that the short is from has got like 20 views, but the short itself has, uh, oh, I don't have any, okay, whoops, yeah, but the short itself has got like five or 600, it's pretty cool. Now, I think I might do a couple other shorts as well, where it's, um, No Man's Sky cinematic sort of stuff. Something that I was interested in a while ago, and I just didn't really know how to put it together, so I'll probably, um, get into that a bit more. You saw the short? What did you think of it? If you don't mind me asking, Donnie. Actually, what do we have left in this system? So we still have two planets to go to see um, what the best multi-tool is. Oh, plus uh, this one. Shorts usually get more, you scroll for shorts so they'd have to watch it. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but um, I was more asking if you enjoyed it. Oh, you liked it. Okay, cool. But again, it's just that thing with the uh, Tarkov that is that an a that's an alien rifle. Wow. Okay. <laughs> an alien pistol. In permadeath. <laughs> oh wow. I still got two more to go, so hopefully, um, you get something with 24 slots or... Yeah, but that looks really freaking cool too. Ah. Awesome. The sleep of, uh, solemnity? Solemnity? I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, that last word either. You a bit, bit jealous there, JP? <laughs> it's cool, eh? I like it too. The, um... It's a very cool looking pistol version. Uh, still got two more to go. That was uh, the one from my my home base over there. It's like Keizo or whatever it is. Go away, ancient ruin. Solemnity. I, I like I like the alien that I found a couple of weeks ago. Fair enough. I pretty much like any multi-tool that I find myself. <laughs> I enjoy finding it myself. You get that thrill of that right there. I mean, I found the S-Class cabinet and it was, it was awesome. Um... Do you play on console or PC? I'm on PC. 
pronunciation, just say it a little faster. Sleep of Solemnity. Does that, that sound right, Donny? Can't say I've ever actually seen that word before. Don't even know what it means. What was that just there? Looked like something blue in the corner of the screen. Not oh, seeing things. This planet looks pretty cool, actually. What was it? Um, dusty planet, Nugra. Choking sandstorms. Use the PS4 controller to fly, okay. What do you got here? Oh, <laughs> I did just, uh, I get that, didn't I? The only time I use the PS4 controller, which is what I have sitting next to me actually, is um, trying to do, like, building? So, with PC it's full, full like movement or nothing, but with the joysticks you can get like percentage movement out of it. So when you're trying to like play something in a very specific spot, uh, sometimes the mouse and keyboard is no good. I'll do that and um, when I'm doing a video sometimes. So, with Saturday Systems number one, got him out of fuel again. Uh, with Saturday Systems number one, I use the PlayStation controller to like circle around all the ships, which I think I'll have to find out a better way to do that. Probably still use the controller, but might um, lower the sensitivity and things like that because it was very inconsistent with the like the the movement and how fast I was circling each ship is very, very inconsistent. I play on Xbox, same, nobody judge me, please. Why would anyone judge you for that? I have a PS4 out there with the with the um, the disc version of No Man's Sky. I never played it until I got it on PC, but... You find it easier to fly with the controller. Okay. I never found it difficult at all to, um, to fly on PC. Mouse and keyboard, anyway. Oh, I didn't actually charge it. <laughs> Most people don't like Xbox One? Why don't people like Xbox One? I have an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4. The Xbox um, was my wife's before we got together. 
and the PlayStation was mine. She used to play Halo um, just to drive around though, she never actually like shot anything, she would just uh, get in the Warthog and just drive around. What do we got here? That's a interesting looking pistol. Definitely going to go for the alien multi-tool over this one, but that is still pretty damn cool. Lot, lot nicer colours than the other ones anyway. Uh, where do we want to go now? I mean, this way. It was the dazzling ozone scoop. It's a lot easier than the sleep of uh, solemnity. Last planet. I'm actually using NVIDIA Shadow Play at the moment to hopefully capture all of the uh, <laughs> the multi tools. One more to go. We've got the Digor Jide, the arid planet. So right now I'm reading off my um, reading the your chat off the laptop, which seems to be quite a fair bit behind. Look at that, it's about 30 seconds behind. It's mostly just because I wanted to play in the uh, full screen mode, so everything's just that nice, nice size on the monitor. Because previously I was playing in boarded mode and had scaled it down so I could see the, the chat on the right hand side so I could talk to you guys if you said anything. And yeah, but I think, I think it's a big difference actually. 30 seconds is kind of huge. Other than the NES or SNES back in the late 80s, I have never owned a console, always been a PC gamer. Fair enough. I had the old um, Sega, used to play Sonic on it. I think that was my very first console. And then we got a PlayStation 1, uh, we'd play a motocross game, there's a motocross game where you'd like go and do tricks and and points and and stuff and uh, probably not sure if it was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater then but I remember playing Tony Hawk as well then moved on from the PS1 to the Xbox and played the absolute shit out of Halo and Halo 2 way too much time spent on Halo and Halo 2 Then got a. Skip the PlayStation 2, straight to a PlayStation 3. And then probably spent an um, extremely unhealthy amount of time in Modern Warfare 2. Remember, I'd get home from school, uh, go to my room, I'd convinced my mum that it was a good idea to have a TV in my room with the PlayStation and everything, moved it all in there, and uh, would just play Modern Warfare from like 4 o'clock in the afternoon from when I got home till like 9, 10 o'clock at night, like every day. That's pretty bad. I don't think I'll let my son do that. <laughs>
Do I do YouTube full time or do I have a job outside of YouTube? Don't mind me asking. Um, I am a diesel mechanic. I have a full time job. Um, my wife is my boss. I subcontract to different companies. I do whatever. I in a normal week I will work probably 50 to 60 hours a week on average. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just don't sleep much, so I have time to do other stuff. I've always enjoyed gaming in general, so thought, hey, why not do some YouTube stuff? Just sort of wanted to see how it went, and um, I've been really surprised with how well it's been going, to be honest. You had a roommate when you were in the military stationed in Germany, gave you his uh, NES and some 50 plus games because he was getting married and has one of his wife's demands. <laughs> yeah, I've been in trouble a couple times um, for, for, well, playing too many games. I'm looking forward to the day that my son gets old enough to like learn how to play something like No Man's Sky and we can jump on and, and play No Man's Sky together or something like that. That's cool. Okay, last planet to see what what uh, multi tools we can get from the system. He really didn't want to get rid of it, but he loved her enough to let it go. Fair enough. I honestly, don't know what I'd do with myself if I um if I gave up uh, playing video games like full stop, no no video games at all. Um, okay, so we're gonna see the last multi-tool. I cannot figure out what it is from those two dots. I just can't. It is the Art of War. It's a little pistol. Okay, not bad. But it's definitely time to go pick up the alien pistol. So you want to fly back home to a minster base. We'll reload, come back and we'll get our brand new S-Class alien pistol. Alien time indeed. And to think all I wanted was some drop pod coordinate data. The unofficial, thanks for subscribing. Just um, got a text message from the missus and I've seen that down the bottom there, so thank you very much.
Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself after this, actually. And I've still got, um... Still got plenty of stuff to do. I uh, still need to find more drop pods. So still have another piece of data. Still got four more um, sets to... Sets of uh, stuff to unlock them. And got a couple more charts for for uh, minor settlements. I remember you saying that, JP, how you don't have a, a phone to verify and, and all that. Do you make um, No Man's Sky videos? How long do I usually stream for? Um, honestly, I was thinking about getting off like an hour ago, but then all this happens. <laughs> I just got like that uh, second wind, you know? Like, I'm currently doing renovations to my house. Um, I've got the entire bathroom floor ripped up at the moment, and I, I need to sort of get in there and uh, get my grinder in there and grind off a whole heap of um, adhesive and, and shit that's left on the floor. Then I need to rip the walls down and and uh, pretty much redesign the bathroom. And then once that's done I've got to get stuck into the main, main bedroom and whatever. Hey Devil Horn, how you going mate? You have, but you haven't done much lately. <sighs> Why did this planet have to be like on the edge of the bloody system? It's like right out to the end. <laughs> so far away from everything. Is it still daytime where I am? Yeah, it's um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I was supposed to start at 6, like JP is uh, so kindly telling you, or telling me that I was 40 minutes late. Uh, my dogs got out this morning and there was a couple of other dogs out there with them. Um, so I got my dogs, put them back in and then chucked those other dogs up on the ute and um, one of them was... One of them belonged to a woman who lived down the road, and the other one um, to a fella on the other side of town. So I took their dogs back, and then come home and started streaming, pretty much. Okay, here we go, the Sleep of Solemnity. 1812 damage potential, 237 Scanner range, and we have we are missing one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, seven. No, we're missing another row as well, aren't we? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so it's a sixteen slot. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, sixteen slot. Alien pistol. Oh, that still gives me um, a lot to do with this. Because we can upgrade it with money or find the uh, the stuff.
Mate, I'm already well past 40 minutes. It's going to buy it because I want to keep hold of this. I'm probably going to upgrade that fully as well. Definitely have the money to buy it anyway. photos in there. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, do I like Star Wars? Yes, I do enjoy Star Wars. Um, to this very day, I am trying to convince uh, my wife that the greatest TV shows to have ever existed are Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Star Wars The Clone Wars. Or Star Wars Rebels. It was up there, it took a very long time to um, to get started, but it's still very cool. It's 9 p.m. and 8 p.m. where where you guys are. I think I'll um, just find this last last drop pod um, data. I'll drop just drop pod. Increase my. Um, Inventory by one more, and then I think I'll be jumping off. Let's make sure I got the right it's positive 12.69 and positive 26.79. Have I seen the Bad Batch? No, I have not. Um, is that on Disney Plus? It's on Disney Plus. Uh, my TV's quite old, and I've got the Telstra T box thing. Um, don't really know how to explain it uh, if you guys don't have it. Um, but my TV's too old to actually have Disney Plus running on it. <laughs> you think I should find more than one? It's on Disney Plus, okay. Yeah, so to actually watch it, I'll either have to look at it on um, my computer or have it on my uh, laptop and hook it up to the TV via HDMI cord. Okay, unofficial. Just for you, I will do this drop pod and then if I can find um, a minor settlement with these two planetary charts and they have drop pods in them, or drop pod data in them, I'll do those ones too. I've heard um, some mixed reviews about the Bad Batch though. I do know that, I did know that it was out, but um, also, like... So the big thing about the, the Clone Wars to me was that while they were clones, they were all individuals and they were all their own people, right? And I've heard that um, the Bad Batch sort of just strips that away. I'm still definitely going to watch it, but like I said, I've heard mixed reviews about it. I don't have any fuel. <laughs> Shelter? It's not looking good for you, unofficial. Oh, 
Oh, minor settlement. Wait, was that... Was that right next to me? Is that the shelter? That's the shelter, okay. <laughs> Um, like I said, I haven't watched it, but I think one of the things I, I heard was that um, the clones are brothers in arms, right? So no matter what, they'll always be clones and they'll always be clones together. So when it came to like having a traitor or, or um, having to pursue one of their own or something, it was always a big deal but apparently that's something that's not really the case with the Bad Batch because they were always um, put to the side sort of thing you know really liked how the Clone Wars tied in about the Force Ghosts and the control chip and clones yeah like man like I said Star Wars Clone Wars one of if not the best TV shows ever, ever made. Major cities in No Man's Sky? Yeah, that's something that I originally thought was possible. <laughs> we got C-Class. Yeah, so at the end of the Euclid storyline, the quest line where you actually meet the Atlas and stuff and you can choose a new galaxy to go to, um, one of the options is to look at a new wreck new rank for uh, the Gek. But yeah, one of the options was to go to a rebuilt galaxy. And I saw that and I thought, holy shit, there's cities and, and stuff in this game. You can go to a, a rebuilt galaxy and, you know, there's going to be like civilizations and minor settlements are going to be actual fucking minor settlements, not just, not just a room like this. But um, obviously that's not the case. <laughs> I still don't really know what a rebuilt uh, galaxy is supposed to be. But yeah, okay, so this is your last chance, unofficial. We'll see what we got here. No dice. Out of luck. In all fairness, I do need to um, get started on this uh, this bathroom though. Oops. So, well, thank you for tuning in. I had um, a lot of fun chatting with you guys. Uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, um, do so if you want. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm having fun anyway. But if you want to tune in next time, that'd be a good way to see when I'm live uh, or if I've uploaded a new video. Some cool stuff with uh, base building coming out soon. So yeah, thanks for hanging around and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.